Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video we are looking at the Variable Action Heroes One Piece Tony Tony Chopper, or Chopper for short. Uh, and speaking of short, this guy is that. He is tiny. Uh, now this is the post time skip version of Chopper, which for me, uh, I haven't gotten to that point yet in the show. So uh, I'm a little biased, but I have to say I prefer the pre time skip version with the red hat. Uh, however, they did do a really good job for this particular look. Uh, I do think the post time skip chopper, now this is just my estimation based on images I've seen, is shorter than the regular chopper. So if you're concerned about this guy's size being too small, uh, I think it's accurate. I think it's okay. So I wouldn't worry about it too much, uh, but it is tiny as you can see uh, in reference to the spinning turntable right here and the packaging back there. I couldn't really even get it in the shot because he's just so darn tiny. But they did do a good job with him, and he's much cheaper than the other VAH figures. Uh, that's hard for me to say, I don't know why. Anyway, he's really cool, so let's get him off the stand and take a look. Okay, so this guy stands, not surprisingly, only about 3 inches tall, which makes him under 8 centimeters. He's very tiny. It's a very, very, let's see if I can get it in focus. It's a very, very small figure. Uh, but it's okay because they did a good job with what they had and it's gonna look cool up against the other figures It's just uh, I mean it, it is what it is So if if you're buying a chopper figure, you know, it's gonna be small like this. So that's okay uh, The paintwork is pretty good as you can see there are some problems on the hat in particular You can hopefully see on camera. There's some smudging around the white, uh, but it looks good for the most part The face looks pretty good. It's nice and clean. The shirt has some shading on it looks pretty good and then the backpack and everything. I mean, it, it's nicely done. It's not fantastic, but it's definitely good enough. So I'm okay with it. And he has some interchangeable parts. So that's good. It's just definitely not... Uh, it's not like the other VAH figures in that it doesn't have the, the most range of motion or anything like that. So let's look at the interchangeable parts. Uh, the first thing to note is the head is an entirely removable piece due to the fact that the entire head is interchangeable. So we have to take the head off. We have to take the hat off to do that. And how we do that is we pull off the ear and antler on each side. And then the best way to do this, I found, is to just separate the sides of the hat a little bit and it should allow the head to come out. It's a little tricky. It fits in there rather snugly. The hat is one solid, I mean, it's hollow obviously for the head, but it's a solid piece of rubbery soft plastic. And then the head looks like this. And all the heads have the general same shape. So we have this head, and then we have this head. So it has slightly different eyes. And then we have this head. He's got a lot of expressions, a lot of options. And they all just go in the same way. And then this head. So those are all basically the same head with different face paints on them. And then the last one is an actual different sculpt, which is the angry head. So he's got the closed mouth, and then uh, I, I think the sculpt's slightly different. He's got eyebrows sculpted on here, just the tiniest bit of sculpt, but it is there. And now you're probably wondering, can you use him without his hat? And the answer is yes. It's a little tricky to get these in on some of the heads. Like, that one doesn't want to go in right now, uh, but you can do it. Or at least you're supposed to be able to do it. I haven't tried it, technically. So, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, so it's supposed to work. This is the one that he has on in the package. So I'm assuming the holes are just stretched out a little bit, but you can use him without his hat. If you so choose, you're just going to have to probably heat the head up a little bit to get them to fit in. Uh, we're going to leave the head off for the rest of the review, at least for now, uh, because it just gets in the way. So the head is connected on this double ball peg, which does have good range of motion, but because the head is so big in relation to the body, you don't get that much out of it. I mean, you can use it, but it's not going to give you a great deal of motion, so it's not that big of a deal. The backpack is a separate piece which you can remove, and how you do that is you remove the arms. Now, I know some people I know some people have had some problems with removing interchangeable hands and things on on these figures, so it's good to note that the uh, pegs here are just straight pegs that fit snugly, so nothing should break. Uh, if you pull them out straight out. So you need to pull the arms out. And if you want to be even more careful, you can kind of get your fingernail underneath the uh, ball part of the joint. So if it's in there, you can just kind of pull it from there. 
and you should be just fine. So you can remove the backpack and it's all fully painted underneath. And you have to remove the arms anyway if you want to use the interchangeable arms because if you'll notice, these guys have only a ball hinge, or a hinge actually, it's not even a ball hinge, a hinge and a peg for the shoulder to rotate the arm that way, and then the wrists can rotate and have a hinge. Which, you know, it's not bad for the size of the figure, these are very tiny pieces, so I'm okay with that. But then we do have interchangeable arms, so if you want him to have bent elbows, you can give him bent elbows by swapping out the arms. Same exact articulation, it just has a pre-sculpted bend in the arm. And if you're worried about which one goes where, um, it's obvious because you want the smooth part of the joint to face forward. So if you have it like this, you'll see the seam, and that means you're on the wrong side. So that's it for the sculpted arms. Um, they only go, you know, they have the pre-built sculpt in there. So they have, they're very limited still. You know, it's not the best design ever. They probably could have worked on an elbow hinge, I think. Uh, just do the same thing as they did for the shoulder. I'm losing focus here, I'm sorry. They could have just done the same thing for the shoulder, uh, for the elbow, but they didn't. So it is what it is. It's not bad. It's good enough. Let's get the arms back on just so that it looks like an actual figure while I'm reviewing it. And then he does have leg articulation, which isn't too bad considering the sculpt. So we have ball pegged hips, so the legs can move around pretty well considering how small they are in the sculpt, so that's okay. And then the ankles are basically the same as the hands. We have a hinge and a swivel, so you'll be able to pose him uh, well enough. He is super head heavy, top heavy, so don't expect to be putting him in any crazy dynamic poses without support because without the support he will totally fall over. So let me put the ear back on and let me show you how he can balance. If I can do this on camera, there we go, there's one. <clears throat> See, he does have an appeal to him, even though he's not the uh, most elaborate figure. It's okay. The heads come off really easily, by the way, so don't worry about breaking anything. It, it should just pop right off. But it's not so loose that the head can't be posed, so it's not too bad. Uh, so he is super, super top heavy. You can see though, it's mostly centered. So he does tend to lean back a little bit, so you'll have to be a little careful with it. But it's not, it's not too bad. I'm alright with it. He comes with this, which is a clear display stand. Uh, clear acrylic, it has the three hinges in it. And it has this. Which, <clears throat> there is no paperwork or anything that comes with these figures. So I'm assuming it's to go like that to help support him. Uh, but I don't know, because I don't know where else it would go. So I find that a little odd. It's a weird choice. So maybe it's just, you're supposed to kind of do that and support him. But even then, he's so tiny, this stand itself is almost too big. So maybe we bring it out like this and do it, I guess, like that. I don't know. It's uh, You can play with it and figure it out. It'll support him enough. So I guess that's a good thing. He, he can stand on his own. That's how I'd probably display him. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Again, it's it's okay. It's not like we we're overpaying because it was a lot cheaper. Um, so, I don't know. I, I can't say I recommend it unless you're completing the set just because it's not particularly great. But it's okay for what it is. So, I don't know. It's 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 a weird type of figure and you guys if you're collecting this line you know exactly what i'm talking about and if you're not then you're probably not interested in this figure anyway so it's not a big deal so uh there you go it is available in stock at big bad toy store so check it out and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews custom figures and other good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting